In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage and configure OS ticket. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So let's get started. First of all, let me tell you about the panels. So here we have two uh, panels. One is for the staff, one is for the users, for the customers. So if uh, you wanna show this one to the customers, you can use your subdomain or whatever is uh, your requirement. So here the customers can see their ticket status and uh, open a new ticket. If they click on open a new ticket, they need to put in their, e their email address, full name, phone number, extension if that's required. And here are some topics what we're going to create in the admin center okay so this is going to be the uh, page for the customers for staff it's going to look different so uh, right now i'm going to log in as the administrator okay let's jump to the admin panel and see the stuff step by step so if i click on manage and uh, here you can see all the topics uh, what was showing under under the topics so if you click here and uh, type here any topic like uh, uh, in IT related so you can put backup related issues or Windows related issues or whatever your category is and if you want to create new user uh, like new agent or the team member you just need to click on uh, new and then uh, their details name phone number their signatures so here are the status and settings so first one is locked and that means if any of the employees leaves the company or got terminated so you can quickly just lock their account rather than finding other stuff or changing their password you can just simply click lock and uh, save okay and the second one is going to be administrator like with all access and the third one is going to be limited ticket access only uh, assigned ticket so that's the most of the time you're going to use for the employees and then under access you can uh, select their department their role and then under permissions there are more like they can uh, create ticket delete edit so I would suggest uh, not to check this one on because they can create ticket edit but not delete and uh, ability to manage active user account so they can manage the users uh, like the customers account and they can see the user directory if you want to and uh, the next one is going to be team so you can uh, create a new team so let's say add new you can uh, type here name let's say level uh, three and uh, uh, you can select the team lead as well but currently I'm the only one uh, user here so that's why it's showing just my name but you can create uh, you can set whoever is the uh, team lead is and after that uh, the next thing is roles uh, let me uh, cancel that so you can see all the roles here and the departments so currently for showing maintenance sales support so you can create whatever you want you just need to click on uh, that add department and then under settings so you can set your help desk system offline as well but uh, that's going to be if it's running in production that's going to be hectic for the users so this is the help desk url and what i told you in a uh, previous video how you can change this and then after that you will need to update here as well okay and uh, the default department you can select here for all requests through https if you have uh, the ssl certificate you can use that and then uh, it's showing the default page size and uh, embedded uh, domain whitelist and then uh, there's going to be the time zone you can set up time zone you should uh, set up the time zone according to uh, your server preference wherever your server is and you can also set the languages and the main thing you can uh, select 
the maximum file size like if somebody wants to explain their issue in the ticket and they want to add some pictures you can uh, set the limit here as well okay under the company details you can put your company details company name website phone number address and under tickets here is uh, the ticket uh, format you can see here it's going to be these numbers so if uh, you want your ticket number to be in uh, like four digits you can do this and uh, the next thing uh, it says uh, default ticket number sequence general ticket so it's going to be like 0001 and then the next one is going to be 0002 or you can do random so it's going to be uh, random numbers and uh, you can uh, select with the task sequence as well so for me i like this one the general one and you can see i you choose four hashes so now it's showing me the four numbers if i do more like seven so it's going to be like this and uh, random you can see the numbers okay so and then it says top level ticket counts and if you want to enable this and what this is you can see here it shows everything under uh, next to that uh, question mark and uh, the sla which is very important you can set whatever your company uh, requirement or whatever your company set as sla is and then uh, uh, there are auto responders uh, and uh, there are alerts and notices and the queues so here you can see uh, currently we have open ticket my ticket and closed so you can add another queue um, let's say if you want to do uh, unassigned ticket or uh, assigned but uh, whatever the category uh, right now I'm, I'm not just guessing stuff because uh, you can use whatever you want and then uh, there are columns sort it has like a lot of features okay and the last thing in this video I'm going to discuss which is going to be the knowledge base so if you want to enable the knowledge base which is I would say very important and that can save a lot of your company's time if you guys have the knowledge base so you can enable this and just ignore this one require client uh, login so what happens if you have created some knowledge base article so if somebody is uh, let's say it's me and I'm the customer of a company and I need some support in changing the IP address in Ubuntu server and I am creating ticket change uh, IP address in Ubuntu server so if you enable this feature it's uh, there's gonna be pop-up link for the customer for for me that there is an article you can see that article and you can update uh, your IP address on your own so that way your company uh, support team is saving some time for the other task or otherwise the customer is gonna ask you uh, assign us some real support members so they can help us update our IP address so I would suggest you to enable this All right, so let me just quickly show you the agent panel, how it's going to be for the agents uh, who are not the uh, admins. So here you can see there is one uh, ticket already uh, and this is how it's gonna look like. And then if uh, somebody respond to this one, so they can uh, respond here and post reply. And uh, other than that, they can do uh, knowledge base. So currently it's showing nothing okay so as agent you can do uh, the knowledge base as well here you can see uh, can set the responses the categories and uh, tasks as well uh, you just need to click on new task and you can assign the task as well and under the users you can create new users uh, as you can see the current ticket is uh, assigned by guest so under users there is user directory you can uh, add user import user and there is more feature as well all right guys thank you so much for watching the video and if you have any kind of question you can just comment me below thank you so much again i'll see you in the next video bye bye